Jimmy. Let's, uh, I guess let's go ahead and, and finish with the quick shots. Let's move on to some of the main topics. Um, so, I mean, since we were talking about Ghost of Tsushima and whatnot, let's just hop into Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I know last week we had talked about it and we were complaining about that $30 mm -hmm. price hike that they're giving yep. us. You yep. know, the way they, they're breaking it down, it's like $20 for this director's cut, you know, with uh, the island of Ikushima. And then it's $10 to give you that PS5 experience on there or whatever. So we had a problem with that $30 mm -hmm. um, price. But it has recently come out that this $30 game or this uh, this $30 price uh, inclusion or this $20 uh, DLC upgrade uh, isn't just like some, you know, measly upgrade, you know, maybe four or five hours of gameplay. This shit is possibly 15 to 20 hours of gameplay. So this is damn near like trying to fit a whole nother Ghost of Tsushima in this small island and then charging you 20 extra dollars to play mm -hmm. this, you know, 30 if you like right. the PlayStation 5 experience right. on there. So uh, does knowing this now, knowing how many hours of gameplay you would get in this Ghost of Tsushima add-on, uh, like change your opinion on on the $20 uh, for the game? So I never um, had a beef with spending $20 for the DLC. My biggest beef and my biggest concern was them charging me $10 to get access to the power of my PS5, right? Like I said before, the fee or my tax, because I think we're taxed to play at 4K 60 frames per second is the price I paid to buy the hardware. Right. The 600 bucks I spent nearly to buy that system, that is my tax to have access to 4K 60 frames per second. Right. Charging me an additional tax on top of that just to use the system that I have. Mm-hmm. That is ranked to me. So I don't like that marketing strategy. I don't, I still don't. I still don't think that that was the best way for Sony to go to market this. I would have been much more, um, I guess, persuaded by this price tag had it been you're paying $30, but we're giving you 20 more hours of gameplay. That sounds like well money spent, right? Because Miles Morales was 50. And that was like eight to ten hour game, maybe like mm -hmm. more like the eight, probably eight to eight range. Yeah, and that was worth it to me, right? It's not quite a full game, but it almost is. Yeah. So ten dollars more, like at the sixty price range, I might get a ten to twelve hour game, which I think a twelve hour game was worth about sixty bucks. Yeah. Um, a full fledged, you know, character, all the bells and whistles of a triple A game in twelve hours, I think is sixty bucks is probably a fair price. Yeah. So giving me a, a dumbed down version, eight to ten hours, I think that was fine. Thirty bucks for twenty hours, though, like. That is quite a deal. Pretty solid. That's pretty solid deal. Now, we don't know if that 20 hours is side quest. We don't know if that's gathering quest. We don't know if that's like mindless junk. Just going and, and doing, a, you know, the castle, you know, the area <laughs> right. takeovers and stuff like right. that. Right, yeah, Alpha's takeovers. Like, we don't know. I don't like, think it's going to be an actual story. You know I don't think I mean? it's 15 to 20 hours of like a storyline campaign. So I think they might be joshing us a bit on that. But... There sounds like there's a lot of content here, and I think if they had marketed it that way, like, hey, look it, we're giving you a whole island with a whole new, like you said, mini Ghost of Tsushima on this island, yeah, where you're gonna have 15 to 20 hours of game time mm -hmm. and gameplay for 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. That would excite me. Now that sounds like a deal. That sounds like the sucker punch who gave us Legends for free, right? That sounds like the guys who are trying to give us a lot for little, yeah. right? Not where like. No, no, sorry. Ten of that dollars were charging you to fire your PS5 up. Right. Like that is ranked to me. So that's kind of like my take on it. Yeah, it should almost. You're you're basically saying it should be like thirty dollars just in general. Right. That's whether, what I'm saying. Whether you bought it on the PS4 or the PS5, right. the fact that you're trying to tack on an extra ten dollars to be able to get the PS5 version of it is kind of trash. Um, I, I that's think, what I mean. Yep. I think that it's like, I think mostly. It's probably mostly more apparent or or whatever because 
it's like 20 plus a 10. Right. You know, whereas you have like Death Stranding, which is just charging you $10. It's giving you the extra content. Mm-hmm. And then you're you're also included with a PS5 version of it. Because right. I think it's $10 either way. Right. If it's PS4, it's $10. Mm-hmm. If it's PS5, it's $10. If you have the PS4, it's $10. And then when you get the PS5, you'd be able to right. play it with the PS5 right. features right. on it. So it's like either way you're shaking That's how it. I imagine it's it should be. It's $10 for the extra right. content. Right. It's not $10 to be able to play it on the PS5. And you got the same shit. You know what I mean? Exactly. So... You know, it's. Uh, I understand what you're saying with the with the marketing thing. Mm-hmm. If they had just marketed it differently, it wouldn't feel the same. Or at least if everybody, maybe it's maybe it's like a combination of like Misery Loves Company. Like I'm getting shafted to play it on my PS5, so you guys who still have the PS4 should, should get shafted as well. <laughs> yeah, but it's not that. I'm just saying. I'm, it's like they could have changed. Yeah, it. I'm not. It's definitely not Misery Loves Company. It's not saying I think they should be shafted. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that I think that 15 to 20 hours of gameplay is worth the 30 dollars. Yeah, and I think they could have got away with just saying, with just saying 30 play. bucks for also the extra content, extra features. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just think that we should get the extra features as PS5 owners because we spent the 600 bucks mm-hmm. on their console. Right. 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 Like that's what. It's like, dude, we gave you the money already. We already paid you for access to what the system can do. Mm-hmm. You know, why are you doing this to us? That's more so my frustration. For sure. You know, but yeah. uh, so I love you, me.